dear students in this unit we will study about the functional adaptations of prokaryotes as we have talked that uh, prokaryotes are the are the smallest organisms yet they have equipped themselves with search, uh, certain functional adaptations which help them to best survive in any ecosystem for example cell wall cell wall is a very protective coating of the plants as uh, you might have studied in your earlier books prokaryotes they have also equipped themselves with the cell wall cell wall not only provides them a definite shape but it also provides them toughness rigidness to survive the extreme harsh environment of outside ecosystems now we t we we know that uh, the cell wall of plants it is composed of uh, cellulose but the cell wall of uh, bacteria it is composed of peptidoglycan and uh, when we talk about the archaea archaea are actually more primitive or you could say more specialized uh, form of prokaryotes they don't have peptidoglycan they have uh, different structures different cell wall composed of different structures for example polysaccharides and proteins uh, but they lack peptidoglycans now in order to uh, in order to successfully survive in an ecosystem they have uh, equipped themselves with the special uh, functions of the cell wall or the cell membranes and when we talk about the eukaryotes eukaryotes have uh, uh, different uh, specialized compartments or specialized uh, 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 organelles to perform different functions prokaryotes they lack those uh, organelles yet they do all functions which are vital for the uh, survival of an organisms uh, for example they uh, secrete uh, a protective layer of polysaccharides or proteins uh, which helps them to uh, to avoid the desiccation process so that they can survive they uh, they do not die in an uh, uh, environment which is uh, very much uh, uh, dry environment now uh, we know that uh, reproduction is very important part of the survival of the organisms prokaryotes they can reproduce asexually through simple binary diffusions this binary uh, binary fission is actually a process in which they don't have to perform so many uh, they, they don't have to synthesize so many different proteins they don't have to uh, go through those processes which eukaryotic cells have to go through whenever uh, a, a bacteria has uh, uh, everything like dna and uh, the cytoplasm when they have sufficient enough cytoplasm they simply replicate their dna and they divide into two uh, cells prokaryotic cells through simple binary fission and uh, this has given them edge in uh, multiplying indefinitely in a very short span of time for example many prokaryotes they have generation time of 1 to 2 or 3 hours even there are some bacteria which can uh, uh, divide in one one bacteria can divide into two even in half an hour so this successful functional adaptation has uh, uh, really helped them to survive and to successfully adapt to different ecosystems now how they have come up with the, this uh, highly advanced and uh, specialized uh, functional adaptations mutation is one of them with the course of evolution through the mutations they have survived the best and they have adapted best to on in different ecosystem which this earth can provide to them they are very important model organisms for scientists to study the process of evolution